Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Enduro 2 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. Before we start, there is two ways of pairing this watch with the phone. The first method is to do it during the setup process of the watch, so basically if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second method is to do it um, via the settings once the watch has been already set up, because you can set up the watch without pairing it to a phone. First I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, during the setup process, and then I'm gonna show you how to do it via the settings. Okay, so let's continue. Let's turn on our watch. So to do it, press and hold the light button until you see the Enduro logo on the screen. Once you see the logo on the screen, you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. In the meantime, we can uh, start downloading uh, and installing the Garmin Connect application on our phone. So make sure that you have internet connection on your phone and the Bluetooth enabled. Once you have both, open the Play Store on your uh, phone, Google Play Store, then tap on search and type in Garmin Connect and then tap on the search button. You should see this application, Garmin Connect, with this icon. Tap on the install button to download and install the application. Okay, in the meantime the watch turned on, so you should see the ready screen. You can press the start slash stop button to continue, and now you should see the list of languages. And you can scroll through this list by using the up and down buttons. Scroll through the list, find the language you like to use on your watch, and then press the start slash stop button to confirm. I'm gonna select English and then confirm. And as you can see, now we're being asked if you want to pair the watch with a phone. You want to do it, so select yes, and then press the start slash stop. The watch should enter the pairing mode, pairing mode rather, and it should be uh, detected by the app when we open it. So this is the pairing mode, this is the impor important part. If you want to uh, pair the devices together, your watch needs to be in the pairing mode. Okay, now we can open the application by tapping on the open button. And after the application opens, you will need to log in into a Garmin account. You can also create a new account if you need to by tapping on create account button. But I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, check the box, tap next, and enter the credentials. So give me a couple of seconds. And then when you're done, once you're done rather, you can tap on next to log in. After you log in, you might get asked to allow the permission for the location. I believe you need to allow it to pair the devices together, but you can try denying it if you want. I'm just gonna tap on manage permission and allow while using the app. And as you can see, the application automatically detected our watch. This is important because uh, if the watch is not in the pairing mode, the app won't detect it. So make sure it is in the pairing mode. Then tap on the connect or connect it and then tap on OK. Now we need to enter the uh, code from the watch. So let's type in the code uh, 585, tap on OK. Now let's tap on next. Here we can tap on next or we can go back. And if you want to set up the sleep schedules, basically, um, for example, uh, you want do not disturb mode turning on automatically when you go to sleep. This is uh, what it is for the sleep mode. And you can tap on edit right here to edit the sleep uh, uh, basically schedules. So you can tap on edit and change the time to bedtime, basically when you go to bed, wake time when you wake up, and you can select the days on which the schedule should be active, and then you can tap on save. And once you're done editing the schedules, you can tap on next. And for some reason it opened the page again with this. Oh, we can set another schedule for some reason. Uh, I guess because we have one 
one day when that it's not covered with the with the schedule. So uh, they want us to cre create a specific schedule for the specific day because it's not covered. So I guess we just can set it up like that and then tap next. Yeah, that's what they wanted. Basically, they want all of the days to be covered by the schedules. And then we can tap on next. Next, we can allow ordinary uh, permission for the notification access. So if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, you need to allow this uh, permission. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and skip it. I'm gonna allow it. Here we have the calendar access permission. If you want to be able to access the calendar uh, and events like stuff like that, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can tap on skip and deny it. I'm just gonna allow it. Here we have call log access. So if you want to receive the uh, notifications about calls and see who is calling you, um, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can skip it. And then we have phone call access, the same. Basically, if you want to have the notifications about the calls from your phone, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can skip it. And then we have messages. So if you want to receive the notifications about the messages on your watch, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can skip it. And once you're done with the permissions, you can tap on sync now. And then tap on finish. Here we have a tutorial how to use our watch. We can go through it by tapping on next or simply tap on skip to skip it. I'm just gonna skip it, but you can go through it if you want. And then tap on finish. Now we can uh, set up a woman's health tracking. If you need to tap on get started and follow the instructions, I'm just gonna tap on not now. And here we can set up more features like music, Garmin Pay, Wi-Fi and stuff like that. You can tap on get started to uh, set them up. Basically, you will have the different steps to do. I'm just gonna tap on not now, tap on got it. And now we can tap on the menu button right here to open the menu, select the Garmin devices. And here you should see your Enduro 2. You can select it to open the device page for your watch. And also you should be able to use your watch, as you can see. Okay, so that's how you pair the watch during the setup process. Now I'm gonna unpair it from the app quickly. Go to settings, remove it from the Bluetooth uh, settings. So basically forget it. Okay, so at this point the watch is unpaired from our phone. Now we want to pair it with a phone via the settings. To do it, simply press and hold the app slash menu button to open the menu. Uh, scroll through the menu by using the up or down buttons like that. Select the option called connectivity. Right here. Then press the start slash stop. Then select the phone option, press the start button. Here, scroll down. Oh my bad. Let's scroll down. Select the pair phone option, pair start, and the watch will enter the pairing mode. And now we can open the Garmin Connect app. And if you installed for the first time, you need to log in and stuff like that. The app should automatically detect your watch. But uh, if you have already the app and you're logged in, you can simply tap on this big plus button right here, or you can open the menu, tap on Garmin devices, and tap on add device right here. And this should open the, uh, the menu. You can uh, allow the permission for the location, and it should detect the watch automatically. You can tap on connect, tap on OK, and basically follow the same steps as we, di as we did uh, before. So let's enter the code. Tap on OK. And then next, we can set up the uh, sleep schedules. Um, we can, uh, we don't need to allow the permissions because they're already allowed because I didn't uninstall the app, so it still has the permissions. And then we can tap on sync now. Oh, 
Okay, then tap finish. Again, we can go through the tutorial, but I'm just gonna skip it. And tap finish again. And the watch is connected. Okay, and, that, and that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Uh, thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.